uh, CJ GJ. He left a couple weeks ago, right? He signed with the Philadelphia yep. Eagles. So his number was up for grabs. Guess who grabbed it? Hendon Hooker will now be number two. Number okay, two. Same number he wore at uh, Tennessee. At Tennessee. He was five. No, he was five. He's the reverse. He's back to the single digits at least. Yeah. He looks like a better two than he was a. It's getting what closer to that one. 12? He went from was he a 12? one, two to yeah. two. Yeah. He's hoping for that now one. Now there's a one. Enough. Cam Sutton wore the one. That's right. <laughs> How yeah. soon before someone grabs that one? I mean, that's probably uh, not a good thing to say right now, though. If I, hey, that number what? one might be available for, for Jamison Williams. It's going so to be just, available. <laughs> I was just, yeah, I, I agree with you, Hanson. That numbers, that numbers come and do. I was just about to say, Maz, Jamison Williams for that number one. I, I think it would be – hear me out. I think it would be dope. I think we had the first year of Jamison Williams where he's injured, he's rehabbing, he's trying to get on the field, he scores one touchdown. You have the offseason, you have the gambling, you have the comeback, then he finally gets on the field. He's iffy, there's some stories here. He's on the jug machine, he's dropping passes. But then he finishes with two touchdowns in the NFC Championship game. He had some drops, but he still scored two touchdowns in a major time. This is a rebirth with the number that got him drafted 12th overall in 2022. I like it. Could happen. It's the rebirth.